I've got chocolate on my pajamas, so we're gonna ignore that. at my eyebrow appointment and honestly Kaylee kills it every time I will never go to anybody else but I feel like going for a run this afternoon instead of going for a walk which is a bit bizarre because it's 36 degrees so I think instead of going to the house that I'm housing I'm going to stop by home and I'll do a run around home instead just because I have most of all of my stuff is at home rather than the house that I'm housing at so I think I'm just gonna head home go for a run once I'm done that I'll have a shower and then I'll head back to the house that I'm housing at I just got dressed so we are ready to go on a run honestly I'm feeling like I'm a little bit crazy because it's dead set 36 degrees outside it is so hot so I'm really thinking this is not a great idea but I've committed now I don't always have the motivation to one workout or two go for a run so when I do I really need to go with it so or run with it you can say so that's what I'm doing. And it's gonna be really hot, but let's go. I've decided to get even more adventurous and I'm gonna take some pre-workout. I'm only gonna have maybe half a screw because it is currently 5.30 and I don't want this to be kicking in when I'm trying to go to sleep later. Okay. My shoes are also at the other house, so I'm gonna try and see if my sister has a pair of shoes here or my mum. Fingers crossed I can find some not looking good it's definitely not the best or most supportive running shoes but i'm just working with what i have that's also my cat they were officially off so wish me luck i can't believe how red my face here is still i finished my run and then had a shower straight away and i was actually feeling pretty good even though it was super hot i did about two kilometers at a relatively good pace i thought um every time i go for a run i'm either running a little bit longer or a little bit faster so i'm definitely improving on that slowly but surely which i'm super happy about heading back to the house i'm house sitting at again i'm here for another five days so i'm honestly just making the most of it i'm absolutely loving being there and having my own space and being on my own which i didn't think that i would because i am a huge homebody and i'm used to being around my family and my sisters but here I'm on my own and I'm surprisingly loving it. Feed the dog, make some dinner, and then chill out. You ready for dinner? Hi. One of the best parts about house sitting. So I'm just gonna make the same protein pasta that I had last night. Honestly, it was pretty good. This is what it is. It is the Veda Smart Protein Pasta, and I'm just having this. It sounds a bit weird, but I just have this with Worcestershire sauce. Obsessed. It's nearly 7:30, which means it's nearly time for Survivor. Non-alcoholic, or for anyone who wants to come at me, it's just delicious. I would happily live on pasta for the rest of my life. It is so good. I actually really love to go on Survivor. I feel, I say this every time I see the applications are open that I'm going to apply, but I never do. But every time I'm watching it, I just think, yeah, I could definitely do it. The only downfall is I'm a terrible liar. I don't really have a poker face, so lying and manipulating is not my strongest point. That's probably where I'd come undone. But like the physical challenges, I love so I may do an application for the next season. Hello guys, happy Wednesday. We are three days down. We have two more to go of the work week and I'm excited for the weekend. Not that I have anything planned, but I just love weekends to do absolutely nothing. I actually had a bit of a thought today about my weekly vlogs here on YouTube and I've realized that because I do work a full-time corporate job Monday to Friday, my vlogs are gonna be pretty much very similar each week. Monday to Fridays, I do the exact same thing every day. So I will wake up, get ready for work, go to work, come home from work, do some sort of exercise, whether that's go for a run, go for a walk, go to Pilates or go to the gym, finish that, go home, 
have a shower, do my skincare, and then go to bed. That is, that is honestly my Monday to Friday routine. So my midweek part of the vlog is gonna be pretty much the same things. And I started to, I think, stress myself out about it. I just thought, well, if I'm literally doing the same thing, people will probably won't be interested in watching. Like they'll just say, it's very boring. You're very boring, but that's my life. I'm not a full-time content creator. I do have a full-time corporate job. It blows my mind when people just run blatant red lights. But I was, as I was saying, I was just starting to get a little bit worried about people finding my content boring. But in reality, this is my life. So my content and weekly vlogs aren't gonna be as glamorous or as fun as someone who was a full-time content creator. But this is my life and this is what my weekly vlogs are gonna be. So I'm definitely just embracing that and showing you a realistic weekly vlog for me so if you guys aren't interested in that kind of thing then you're probably not gonna like my channel but if you are interested in a realistic weekly vlog of someone who has a full-time corporate job welcome I decided I'm gonna go for a walk instead of a run today but when I get back I'm gonna have a shower and wash my hair so I'm gonna go in with both of my oils so I put the Briogeo scalp revival rosemary pre-wash oil all over my scalp and then I go in with this OGX Coconut Miracle Oil on the ends of my hair and I'll let these marinate for about an hour or so and then I go and wash it. Hello a girl on TikTok, her name is Abby Young and she's the one who got me onto this coconut oil for the ends of your hair. It just helps protect your hair on wash days against water damage, which I really wasn't aware. I thought water was good for your hair, but not so much. So this helps just to protect any damage caused from washing your hair and water damage in general. Finally, when I put this on my scalp, I'll leave it on overnight because I'm not staying at home and Alba is gonna have to do. Okay, let's go for a walk. Okay, so my little brother didn't wanna go for a walk, so I'm riding solo today. <laughs> the end of the work week happy friday guys i genuinely look forward to this feeling every friday even if i don't have anything on on the weekends which 90 percent of my weekends i spend doing absolutely nothing and a plan free and i genuinely look forward to those i am such a homebody i don't like going out very much so even though i don't have exciting things happening on the weekend i still look forward to this feeling every friday <laughs> do i actually have plans for tomorrow though it is one of my good friend's partner's birthday and we're actually doing lawn bowls which is such a fun time i've done it a handful of times before and honestly had a blast each time so we're doing that I think we are also having a couple of drinks with that as well and then after we finish that I think we're doing a little bit of a pub crawl for a few hours and then ending up at a pub for dinner as well so I do actually have plans and something to look forward to tomorrow morning guys and happy Saturday. I ended up going home last night just because I really wanted to have a shower in my own shower and then also sleep in my own bed. So I ended up packing up my stuff and heading home at about 8.30 last night and honestly sleeping in your bed is the best feeling. Nothing tops it in my opinion. Um, and then I woke up this morning and went for a run and it was the best one I've done so far. It was the longest I've run and also the fastest I've run as well. So couldn't think of a better way to start my weekend. I packed my makeup and skincare this morning. I've done some washing and just really unsettled or unpacked from staying away for the last two weeks um, as much as I love house sitting and having my own space nothing quite beats being back home so that was my night and morning 
and I'm actually on the way to our little shopping center at the moment just because I have the urge to go and do a little bit of shopping. There is quite a lot of afterpay day sales on at the moment. <laughs> there is a lot of afterpay day sales on at the moment in store and online. And I did try and have a look online the other day, but I just online shopping is not the same as in-store shopping, although I can't in-store shop for a long period of time. I get over it really quickly. So I've just got a few shops on my hit list for today. I just want to have a look for some new basic tops. I want to have a look to see if they have these particular Adidas um, gazelles that I was looking at a few weeks ago. I want to see if they're still available in store and then try them on. And then I also think I want to have a look for a Ninja Creamy. That has been on my wish list for a long time now. And I do think they are on sale with the Afterpay Day sale. So I just want to have a look and see if they are, if they're available um, and also how much they are as well. just finished getting ready to head to Lawn Bowl, so this is what I've gone with. I'm just going sandals, jeans, a top, my usual jewelry. I just need to grab a jacket and I'm ready to go. Okay, I'm on my way to Barefoot Bowls now. I am running on time, which is really good, and thankfully the rain has also held off, which is also good. I was a little worried about it this morning. It was raining, and then I wasn't sure really what the backup plan would be. But shopping today was honestly the biggest fail. I went looking for a Ninja Creamy, sold out. I went looking for these Adidas Gazelles in this beige colorway, sold out. I went looking for a pair of white jeans, did not find one pair of white jeans anywhere and then I went to glass ends because I was going to get some basic tops and then I found out that their 20% off sale was online only so honestly the biggest fail I didn't buy anything there the only thing I did get was some donuts from the donut shop to kind of like compensate for the fact that I didn't buy anything else but if there was ever a sign from the universe telling me not to spend money that was definitely it because I didn't spend any money besides getting some donuts. Now we have barefoot bowls now. I think we're bowling for about an hour or so and then we're doing a little bit of a pub crawl and then I think we have dinner at around seven o'clock. Good morning guys and happy Sunday. I'm just getting ready to go and run my usual Sunday errands, my favorite thing about Sundays. I genuinely look forward to running errands every week so it makes the thought of going back to work tomorrow a little bit more bearable. But um, I do want to do a little bit of shopping again today. I did try to do some shopping yesterday and it was a complete fail. Um, but I'm going to go to a different shopping center this morning, have a look at a few different shops and see how we go. Finished getting ready to go and run some errands. Honestly, I couldn't have kept it any more basic. I've got my Adidas Sambays, jeans and just a white tee. So let's go run some errands. I was just procrastinating on the lounge for the last hour, but I'm finally on the way to run some errands. So I'll be going to Kmart, JB and Coles. Those are the definite stores I'll be going to and then I think I might pop into a few other ones as well I did have a failed attempt at shopping yesterday but this is a different shopping center so I'm just gonna have a look around see if there's any sales on in store still happening for the after payday sales <laughs> just got home after yet another failed attempt at shopping 
I don't know what it is with the universe this weekend, but it does not want me to spend money, so I have officially listened. I went to JB Hi-Fi, and they had the Ninja Creamy in stock in store, but they didn't want to price match the cheaper price that I've seen online for whatever reason. That was fine. And then I went into Kmart to pick up these pajamas for my sister. They didn't have the size she needed, so I didn't grab them either. But I did, however, go into Target to look at their knitwear. I love Target's knitwear. I think the price point and the quality is pretty spot on. And I did pick up this nice white oversized jumper knit from there. The white's actually quite a nice white as well and it's incredibly soft i wish you could feel it and it was 35 dollars. honestly the price point is incredible and i picked this up in an extra large because i love to layer my knitwear especially coming into the cooler months and then managed to go to coles and got all of my stuff for the work week i'm gonna make chicken sausages with mashed potato and vegetables i've never had those chicken sausages before so i hope they're okay but the macros looked pretty good and i generally love chicken so i think it'll be okay Breakfast will be the same, snacks the same, and then my dinner changes every night. So I'm going to go inside now, unload the groceries, probably do my meal prep, make a little bit of a snack, and then that's pretty much the Sunday done.